Here we're going to show you how to create a subform using an existing form which is going to be the client's form so I'm just going to go to design view here and scroll down and we want to put the orders data down in this tab here so the way you do that is we're going to go to the orders table that we created earlier left click and hold and just drag onto there and it's come up with this dialog box and it's asking choose from the list would you like to define which fields link your main form to this subform yourself or choose from the list below now there's two ways you can do it we can choose from the list in which case it's asking you show the data from the orders table for each record in the clients table using client ID and that's the one we want because when we designed the orders table we made sure we had a client ID field in there so we could link these two tables together so that's the one we want we click next and it says what name would you like for your subform I'm going to recommend you call it FRM clients subform or just sub click finish and there we have the subform notice it's created the subform over here saved it and the reason I called it FRM client sub is because by having it worded in this way whenever there's a big list of forms it will always have this the subform directly below the form it's associated with as you can see here so let's have a look at that go to view let's just scroll down and we can see here we have the subform. You want to get rid of that because that doesn't really help. Let's scroll down. I'm just going to click on there. Press the delete key on the keyboard. Let's go back to view. Now I'm going to add some data in here so you can see how it actually all works so first of all I want to just move these fields over to this side and then we can move this form up so we can then see everything a bit more clearly so go to design view it's going to just drag these fields up here move across to the right close that down save those changes still not quite there but at least we can see some other rows here so I'm going to put an item in here let's just say paper date of order first the first 11 and then the amount and the amount I'm going to add in here is say 15 notice we've got a scroll bar here so what I want to do is I want to reduce the width of some of these so I'm just going to go up here drag across Oops, cancel that I'm also going to narrow the client ID slightly It's looking a little bit better. Uh, let's put another item in here.
and you can see for this particular client if I scroll up slightly you can see the client IDs 1 so any item you're going to put into the orders table it's going to automatically append 1 to the client ID because these two fields are now linked so if we go to the orders table just double click on that you can see the data here looks almost identical to down here so what happens if we go to say another client you can see a client ID of 2 Stick an order in for them. And you can see these two are linked as well. So if we go to the orders table, you can see which order is related to which client. One last thing, because this is requiring use of the scroll bar, I'm just going to move these two fields up to the right. I'm just going to reduce the size of them first. And there we have it. We've got the main form here and a sub form over here.